Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. Deontay Wilder, Luis Ortiz, do you want to see it? What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang, gang, notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats, the channel donations, and the Patreon family. Now, it's looking like... I'm, I'm back with the latest Ego Rumor Mill. You guys seen in the title, Ego Rumor Mill aka erm just like the title suggests this is a rumor but if you follow the channel for any length of time ego rumor mill believe in that we try to go with the best possible leads now according to sources looks like wilder is going to fight luis ortiz and we should get an announcement soon november 4th at the barclays center now i did a video previously kind of giving you guys the up to the minute info on the fight the the big roadblock and the big hurdle was the mandatory situation Deontay Wilder WBC champion and the WBC number one mandatory is Bermain Stavern a guy that Wilder fought and beat and he beat him in a clean dominant fashion but Bermain Stavern was not taking no for an answer he was like I want my shot I was supposed to fight Povetkin Povetkin failed a second drug test so I had to leave Russia and that was supposed to be an eliminator and then i guess the wbc bumped him based on the the circumstance and through no fault of his own that pavekin failed a drug test they bumped him up and i guess elevated him to number one so he's like i want to rematch with deontay wilder that's what i want and i gave my thoughts on it now it looks like that's no longer a case it looks like th what the situation is bermain Slaverne. He hired Andre Ward's attorney, Josh Dubin, to make sure he was represented, which to me shows maybe some doubt with Don King. Like, Bermain Stavern, to my knowledge, is with Don King, and I'm sure Don King has lawyers, but you didn't trust that, and you got with your own, you know what I mean? You sought out Andre Ward's attorney, which is Josh Dubin, to make sure you were represented properly, which I have no problem with that. I mean, you're a fighter. You want to take care of... You want someone to look out for your best interest, put it that way. But it looks like an agreement was reached with the WBC and the fighters involved, where Stavern is going to fight on the undercard against a, a decent, like, you know what I mean, a, a well-known name or, you know what I mean, a ranked guy, probably like a Dominique Brazil. On this undercard, Deontay Wilder is going to fight Luis Ortiz, and then Stavern, if he gets past whoever they have him fight, which is probably... A Dominic Brazil or maybe somebody like that in the PBC, then he'll get a, a crack at the winner of Wilder Ortiz, whoever has that WBC strap. I think that's fair. I told you in the last video, and I still feel this way. To me, this is actually a better deal. It's a better deal for Bermain Stavern, in all on honesty, because Wilder, when he fought Stavern, he fought a, a great fight, I thought. He hurt Stavern in maybe the first round, and Stavern tackled him, and I thought he he clearly won now Stavern he says he was dehydrated or had Romdo or something but that doesn't take away from what we've seen you know what I mean the fight as it sits Deontay Wilder did his thing and convincingly won so that being said he's only had one fight since that and I believe he's on like a 19 month layoff so to me this is a better deal you get paid step aside money for stepping aside and just allowing Luis Ortiz to fight Deontay Wilder right you get paid for that plus you, you're gonna get paid a fight purse to fight whoever they have you fight Dominic Brazil or whatever and if you get past them then you get the winner so in the end you'll still get to that WBC title shot whether it's through Wilder in the rematch or Luis Ortiz but beyond that since he's been off for 19 months and been very inactive and and I believe the fight after Wilder his last fight he got knocked down and it wasn't against a big name you know what i'm saying he got knocked down by that person so just based on the fact that he's been out of the ring so long i've seen him in vegas a couple times it looks like he's he still probably trains and in shape and stuff but it's it's different on the bright lights so you don't want to go after to me wilder who's been more active he hasn't been out for 19 months even though he's had injuries and stuff you don't want to go at him straight away if he already beat you so he's going to be confident from that. Plus, you've been out of the ring for 19 months. 
And I think that'll make for a better fight once um, Stavern gets another one under their belt. And beyond that, just from the Pulse, I have a pretty popular boxing platforms and everybody wants to see the Wilder Ortiz fight more than they want to see the Stavern. And that's including the networks. I think Showtime has more of an interest in watching uh, the main event Luis Ortiz versus Wilder than, than a rematch to a fight that they already aired. Now, fair is fair. So, like I said, if Stavern gets past his, his next challenge and Wilder or Luis Ortiz, whoever wins that, then he'll still get an opportunity. So, to me, it makes more sense. Um, you can knock off any ring rust. Like I said, if you fight, if Stavern is fighting uh, Dominique Brazil, it's better, and this is no shade to Dominique Brazil, this is just my honest opinion. It's better to have ring rust and knock out those cobwebs against a person like that as opposed to Deontay Wilder, Anthony Joshua, Le Luis Ortiz. You know what I mean? Because they're, they're like the top three guys. They're like top names with all vicious power. So just in case you have any kind of ring rust, you'll be able to probably make just uh, adjustments. And you know what I mean? I'm not saying Dominique Brazil can't capitalize on it, but it's different. AJ knocked out Dominique Brazil. He got knocked down in his last fight against that African dude. You know what I mean? So... I think it's all around works better for everybody, including Bermain Stavern as a fighter. But we should hear an official update soon, according to what I'm hearing. That's the latest. November 4th, Showtime shutting it down. They got that late or mid, I guess you could say mid-October triple header at 154 with Jared Swift Heard, Austin Trout, Edis Lani Lada, Terrell Gusha, and then you also have Charlo versus Erickson the Hammer Lubin and then now we're getting Wilder Ortiz so I'll wait for it to become official that's what I'm hearing ego rumor mill let me know what you think of this latest quote-unquote rumor drop your thoughts in the comment section who wins Luis Ortiz or bomb squad Deontay Wilder let me know drop your thoughts in the comment section make sure you smash the like button as always hate comment and subscribe to the next video's ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button, and you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.